Hello, y'all. Today is Friday. It is the end of the week. This is part two. The second week working at Amazon. So the theme of this week was because every week there seems to be a theme. So last week was a sports theme. And y'all know a girl ain't a sports girl. So I just put on a basic face. But this week they said come wearing a mask. So... Hence why I got this contour going on. Because I know y'all like, this bitch is really giving darn on Paul's Drag Race. Let the best queen win. <laughs> Paul's Drag Race. Because y'all know Diva Wan do not do this in real life. Like, I do not. I mean, granted, the eyes is very much every day for me. But the nose, I do not do an intentional contour like this. But the reason why I went dragish, honey was because I was trying to go for like an ebony intergalactic look, but it did not quite work out that way. Like, my stuff is not quite pigmented enough. I don't got the tools and stuff to, to splatter the paint and stuff on my face like I wanted to because I was trying to go for, like, my face was going to be purple and pink and all the interterrestrial and shit all within one hour. I quickly realized that was not going to work. So what I did was I just turned into a glitter, you know, glitter goddess on the low. I said, you know what? We just going to go dramatic with the nose and just put glitter highlight everywhere. So we got the nose, the size of my face, the eyes. Normally, Diva Wan does not get this highlighted all over. Usually, I keep it simple, and I, I typically avoid the nose area because I do got, you know, slightly enlarged pores, but, yeah. I said, well, shit, we going for intergalactic. We trying to go for a crater look today, too, honey. But, anyways, uh, second week working at Amazon. The theme of the day was face masks. I gave them a whole face instead. I painted my face up as a mask, baby. Boom, boom, boom. So, second week, we done got into um, doing simulations and stuff. Once again, I can't name out any specific lessons because of, you know, cop, you know, private stuff and copyrights and all that. But we got to do simulations where we get to mark, uh, you know, imitate going into the actual systems and whatnot. And getting a feel of what it's going to be like with being on the phones. So now I'm a lot more comfortable because the first week I was like, how is this going to work? Now, though, by the end of the second week with doing enough of these scenarios and now becoming familiar with the proprietary search engine tools that they have. And just Amazon in general, um, I feel a lot more comfortable now taking calls. Um, I thought I was getting behind a little bit, but I don't got caught up a little bit. So it's a little bit of a game with trying to stay. Woo. Would not be Diva Wan if I did not get a knock at the door, a phone call, or a knock on the window. Y'all would know that if y'all are on my darn one regular channel. Hence why I need to get up out this house. It's never a dull moment. But anyways... Where was I at? I think I was saying something to the extent of that now I feel more comfortable. Um, and if y'all wondering why I'm out of breath, the demon that I live with gets food from the churches and stuff. I don't know why with the money that she makes. Um, but we eat separate, so it's like, hell, she wants to go on here and take advantage of the church child. But that's a whole nother conversation for another day. I took the darn on box on her behalf. She going to have to answer to her belief for darn on taking advantage of the folks who are really in need. But anyways, whole nother story, whole nother day, child. Amazon. I now feel more comfortable, you know, doing the, you know, the simulations and stuff of that sort. Um, searching the record, uh, required articles. Remember certain the policies, knowing when to escalate to a different department or within leadership, um, and all of those things. We also touched on time slots because we're actually about to put in our bids um, come Monday. So I might do a video on that by itself. So with me starting my third week, what they do is you got to bid by every one week to three weeks. It all depends on the demand. 
and there's a special way that you do your shift bid for you know customer service flex so that's going to be an interesting experience right there um you know to see what type of hours that i get i hope that i can maintain something like this except add on a little bit more you know get up to like 40 hours because I, I wouldn't be opposed to working 40 hours um we can work up to 60 hours 60 hours um they said that you, your last shift cannot be no more than within eight hours of your beginning shift of the next day i believe like I think you can't do a double back-to-back, -back, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Like, if you decide to do a double, there got to be, like, eight hours in between. So, it's like, you got to do something real funky, like, eight in the morning to maybe, like, one, and then come back at nine and do some hours like that. I think that's how it goes. If you end up doing, like, a double, like, you can't, it can't be, like, back to back if I'm mistaken if I'm not mistaken and if it if you do a consecutive for every four and a half hours you got to take a mandatory 30 minute break and the thing is they will fill that in for you so if you end up doing nine hours which is probably what I end up doing so I can get two breaks in because I'm thinking if I do eight I'm not going to get my second break and at first, I was thinking about doing... So, I think I'm going to start doing some nine-hour days. I think I'll do, like, four, nine... I think what I'm going to do is something like... Let me see. And then you got to convert it if you're not in Pacific Standard Time. So, everything is in Pacific Standard Time. I'm in Eastern, so... I will want a schedule, like, 10 in the morning to, like four in the afternoon so 11 12 1 2 3 4 five days a week that's 30 oh see that ain't gonna work because we got to it got to be like 40 ish so saturday i'll probably add in a time as well so maybe it's gonna be like two days that i do 10 and the rest is so I got to figure out what my hours are going to be, but it got to equal up to 40, but you would normally work about 20 to 29 out of those hours that you suggest. You got the hours that you really want, and then you got the hours that are secondary to tertiary, and then the ones that you don't want at all. So that's how that goes. Like I said, for me, I'm going to probably aim for something like, okay, I guess I push back to nine. 9 o'clock to 9 to 4. Because I still have to have some type of hours left of the day for y'all as far as YouTube and all of that. That's why I'm trying to my best in the weekday not to go too late in the afternoon. So 9 to 4 for me will be 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Do that 5 days a week. Monday through Friday... That'll put me up to, let me see, seven, six and a half times five. That puts me up to 32 and a half. And then I put Saturday for like something late. Because Saturday I would work later on in the daytime. Or do I want to get up early? No, yeah, Saturday I'll probably do something later. I'll probably do like something like 12. 12 to 8 on Saturday and that would get me my 40 hours and then of course I'm open to a little bit later but not too late I can't do no I'm not trying to do late night but yeah that's what we're going to experience with the um the shift bid and everything but yeah y'all that's basically my second week in a nutshell this time I actually did participate in the darn gone photo Y'all know last week I was scared, honey, but this week I jumped on. Maybe because it wasn't as many people as last time. Last time the, the entire class but me got on camera. This time it was only half of the class, so maybe that's why. Y'all know my agoraphobia is strong, honey. My agoraphobia is something darn on strong. But yeah, y'all, that is it in a nutshell. Second week down, I am loving it. Oh, we got paid, honey. And I got paid a little bit more than expected. Because 
I don't know how they do it because once again, I'm not too used to W twos, and now here I am working back with the W twos, child. I'm so used to 1099 and everything being deducted like at a, a, a significantly higher tax break. I, I'm my, the way my mind is programmed. I automatically set aside like 30% for taxes. But that's not how it works at all for a W-2. But even then, I thought, okay, maybe it's cut maybe in like half or something. Maybe it's like 10, I meant 15% or something. But it looked like they only took out like maybe less than 10%, if that. I think they took out like 6 or 7% in taxes. Because my darn on paycheck was a little bit more than what I was expecting. And I was like, honey, thank goodness. <laughs> Because I got these bills and shit the darn on pay. Then it looks like I'm stuck here for a darn on moment. Because I can't find a decent place. So, we're going to weather the storm. Oh, one more major thing that I found out is seasonal is actually longer than I thought. I got confirmation that seasonal is a minimum of six months. And I do plan on trying to stick it out for the duration. And you have the, depending on your metrics, depending on how good you get, they can convert you to um, full-time early. So if you ever become an Amazon, you know, seasonal employee, if you are good enough and if the demand calls for it, they will, you know, start pulling people for full-time. Now, I don't know if you get to keep your same... Com I should have asked that. Well, if you get converted to full-time, do you just get to keep your computer? Because I would hate to go through the process of having to break down the computer only to receive another computer and then have to boot everything up and everything else. It's like, just give me another security key and, and, you know, let's stick with the computer that we have. Like, we don't need to go through no process of, you know, setting it up. Because, granted, it's easy, but it's very cumbersome and time. It's, you know, very time-consuming. Like, don't nobody need to go through that unless you done got fired, terminated, whatever you want to say or if you decided to quit and then it's like okay you got to return the equipment but it's like if you get accepted to another position can we just have the same damn equipment honey so i'm going to ask them about that on monday if i decide to but more likely i won't be because once again y'all know i got to get back to my main job honey y'all know I, my main passion is i'm a medical esthetician and this is supposed to get me through through the winter a a because hell I can't darn gonna do none of my services here and it's not feasible right now for me to try to jump into like a salon suite and stuff with all that I got going on with my finances with me trying to get the hell up out of here I need some you know consistency and then with my car with this spare tire on you know I I can't darn gonna take certain lift jobs and then you know the bonuses conveniently are all gone anyway I swear, it's like Lyft knows when to conveniently do that because it's like I wouldn't have been able to take advantage of the bonuses no way because of this job. So it's like, I guess they waiting until I'm done with this training and I choose my hours and then they'll come back with my bonuses and stuff. But for right now, I'm not doing Lyft. It's been so long since I've done Grubhub and Uber. I'm going to try to do those this weekend to get out a video for y'all and to get me some quick money. Because y'all know the, the pay on those actually processes out, you know, on Monday. And you it gets in my account by Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do some Grubhub and Uber Eats. Um, throw DoorDash in the mix if we want to. Oh, and I also signed up for Spark again. They have a program going between, or was it Point Pickup? I want to say it might be Point Pickup. Yeah, it's actually Point Pickup. Point Pickup has something going on between the 4th and the 5th with the bonuses streak. So I'm going to try to do that. And then I'm also going to try to look into um, Spark as well. Because Spark now is supposed to have other opportunities in the area outside of just Walmart. So we're going to see what that's about. So between this job with Amazon, between my Point Pickup... Which is, you know, picking up for basically Walmart. Spark, the same thing. Except Spark has now expanded to where I believe that we're now accepting Sam Club's orders as well. So that's going to be interesting to see how... Because, you know, Sam's Club is bulk items. So I would love to take that on because y'all know I got an SUV. I got a um, Nissan Rogue. So I wouldn't mind taking on those types of orders. Just lay my car seats down. 
walk y'all through that experience and all of that. I done cleared out my body cam so y'all get the footage of me dropping it out to the customer's doors and all of this, that, and the third. Uh, so that's a little bit of what y'all are going to get to see with my other videos, you know, my non-Amazon related stuff. Because y'all know d One got like seven different streams of income, honey. We, we stacking the paper, stacking the paper. I worth every dollar, worth every minute, honey. I, I'm I'm living up to the Beyonce darn on lyrics, honey. Working nine to five to just stay alive. Working nine to five, honey. Working nine to five to stay alive. But we we someday we going to get back to the turnkey earning. But right now we got to do what we got to do, and Amazon is blessing me. With darn going this because once again, fifteen dollars an hour. One of the easiest, but once again, it, it's a learning process. But once again, the I'm not stressed though. It's like it's a lot to learn, but at the same time, I feel like I'm I'm learning it in a decent enough manner. The instruct the instructors are helpful and everything, and it's the best experience that I've had thus far out of a training. It, it, it's the most efficient. So, honey, Amazon is up on it, honey. They they are really up on it. Um, so that is it, y'all. That is basically my second week, um, dealing with Amazon. Well, I shouldn't say dealing with because that makes it sound negative. But my second week experience with, you know, learning about Amazon customer flex. Like I said, with my non-related job videos, look out for that because I got quite a plenty coming this way. And then, of course, I will give y'all an update with the how the shift bid works. And then my third week, my fourth week, and then my final week getting on the production floor. So those are the videos to look out for Amazon. So that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.